Hello, this is Chriselle, your local Portland, Oregon realtor, and today we are looking at a four bedrooms, three and a half bath, priced at one million and fifty thousand dollars here in central Portland, Oregon. So right now we're at the entryway and right up front you're going to see the kitchen and we're gonna kind of see our living room area right here i feel like this home is so so pretty um there's a lot of natural lighting going on here too also the person who did staging did a really 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 good job um but there's lots of lighting in this house which i honestly expect no less from a house that's priced so high but yeah, everything is just so beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and just take a look over here at our kitchen. It has that very beautiful, nice white countertops that I always talk about that's so nice. And then just look at this, like the gold accents, so pretty. And also it's detachable, but I can't move it right now. Um, but that's like really, really pretty. It has a very big open sink and I love kind of like the gold accents they have throughout the kitchen. But you have your built-in appliances. Um, you have your stove right here, which is a gas stove, of course. And your microwave. We will take a look at a patio one second here. But here is just kind of the lay layout when you're in the kitchen. It's nice. It's very open. It's great for entertaining guests. And it's just great, right? Like you can have your kids eating here breakfast for the hell to school or just having like reading time with your children or just having your friends over for some wine. Absolutely gorgeous. I just want to show you guys the kitchen from this angle. But yeah, you guys, it's really, 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 really pretty. I love it. All right, so um, next to our kitchen right here, we do have our half bath which is really nice. So if you have bath here, that is right next to your kitchen, which is always very, very useful. And then you have this patio that's um, covered, which is really cool. So you have that for entertaining guests or barbecue. And then um, let's go ahead and go look upstairs first. So upstairs is where you're gonna have your master bedroom and I think it's very impressive. So let's go ahead and go up. We're gonna go up our flight of stairs. And then to your immediate right is you're gonna be seeing your first bedroom. Just very standard bedroom, closet space. And then your second bedroom, again, very standard. It's nice because I do feel like this home has a lot of natural lighting, which I feel like really helps. And then we're gonna have our first bathroom, full bathroom. And then this is gonna be your master bedroom. Go ahead into well, your immediate right. We have a sink there, and we also have a sink right here. So it's nice to have sinks on both sides, which is really nice. And then we do have a separate door right here, which goes into our shower and also your toilet. So that's really cool. It's really neat, actually. So we have those two sinks right here. So one for his, one for hers, or your partner, etc. cetera. Um, and then before we go and take a look at our bedroom, I do want to show you our walk-in closet because I think it's very, very nice. It's like super big. <laughs> That's what I need. I need a huge walk-in closet. So there's that for you in another look at your restroom. Then now we're gonna be looking at our full master bedroom. It's nice because it does have windows on both sides of the bedroom. So it makes it look very kind of like very airy, right? And it looks like there's a lot, the sun, natural lighting, which is very, very nice. Even if we're turning the lights off, there's still a lot of adequate lighting in here. 
So I'll go ahead and just show you guys again from this angle. It's a really nice master bedroom. And then, so that's kind of like our upstairs, right? So we have our, um, the master bathroom right here. We have our master bedroom that we just looked at. And then we have our second bathroom here, full bathroom. And then we have these two bedrooms right here. So now we're going to be going downstairs. And I do feel like the downstairs is pretty cool because you can honestly make it like an Airbnb and it would be a really good um, opportunity to actually pay off your mortgage, you know, bringing in that extra income, whether it's for Airbnb um, or just, you know, have it for your in-laws when they want to come visit or for your family members. So we're going to be going downstairs. And the downstairs nice because it's also very it's very spacious it's kind of like almost having your own unit these are just the garages right here hello wearing my vertical today and so here you're just gonna have that um same another bathroom like shower toilet and then real quick here to your right you're going to have your next bedroom and this is the one that was saying that we could totally use for like airbnb because you do have like a separate door right here which is nice right so you could have it for your guest and then down here it's honestly you kind of have like your own little space down here And I have like a little cooler right there, which is nice. You can even set something up right here if you wanted to make this an Airbnb on their lower level. There's also that separate entrance for guests to come in, so that's very useful. Yeah, so there's this you got me, so it's just really nice. Um, if you decide to not make an Airbnb, it could also be kind of like a family room, which is pretty cool. So yeah, you guys, this is, you know, what $1 million is going to be getting you guys in Portland, Oregon. Let me know what you guys think about this house. Would you guys use the lower level for an Airbnb unit or would you guys make it um, more so a room for extra family members when they come? Um, what do you guys think about this space in general? If you guys have any questions on real estate, um, feel free to call or text me below the number below. Thank you. Bye.